Good morning. It's Wednesday, July 19th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Worthy Lives. And our scripture is Ephesians chapter 4, where the Apostle Paul writes, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye should walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Noah wasn't the longest living person mentioned in Scripture, but he came close. Chapter 9 of Genesis ends with the death of Noah at age 950. Whoa. According to Genesis 5, Methuselah lived to be 969. Compared to those guys, at 76, I'm just barely out of the cradle. Now, I don't expect to live as long as either of them, at least not in this body, but when my doctor implanted a pacemaker in my chest a year and a half ago, the battery only had a life expectancy of seven years. Batteries can be replaced, and I'm counting on that, but our human body parts are not like the Energizer Bunny. We will not keep going and going and going. An uncomfortable and worrisome part of that fact is that we're all marching toward the grave, and the question turns sullen and weepy if you dwell on it for more than a passing thought. I've known more than a few undertaker professionals, and they don't get invited to too many parties. I've written before about old brooms and their worth in serving, and I've come to the conclusion that it's useless to attempt measuring the worth of an instrument by the amount of time it lasts. Merely lasting is not why we're born. A new broom that stood in the corner of a closet and seldom taken out to sweep the floor remains unfamiliar with the harder work of getting into the corner places. It may last for generations under those conditions, but never improve the view of a room. It may be a good room to look at, but its measure is thin compared to the purpose for which it was created. In the words of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. We're talking about sweeping the corners. The fact about old brooms as well as old men is that they look worn out, and they really are worn out. But if they've lived a worthy life, they know the corners. They know those tough spots and uncomfortable truths that tend to shape a life for good or bad. That suggests an old broom has learned the value of sustainability with usefulness and wastes little energy and resources on that which is passing. In a life well lived, a worthy life of sacrificial serving, there's little time for the news cycle, that 15 minutes of fame and attention which will pass like a wisp of smoke on a foggy morning. For you today, at any age, any stage of life, you are part of that life which is both passing away and eternal. Do not waste this moment, this day, or this life, or the next, by anything less than walking worthy of that to which God has called you. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.